Okay, this is a little bit different set than you're normally used to seeing. This is what I call a, a dangling bait stick set, and I believe this originated with Charlie Dobbins. The idea is to dangle uh, a stick that has your lure on it uh, above a foothold trap. And so you can't see it because the water's muddy, but right in front of that cross stick there, that stepping stick, I've got two TS-85s bedded. Now the important thing to realize is when you bed these uh, foothold traps like this, they need to be bedded just as solid as you'd bed a foothold on dry ground. You don't want the beaver stepping around in the water and tipping the trap over or flipping the jaw up or anything like that. And you can see what I'm using here is in one of my four foot long fiberglass electric fence posts that I use in all of my snaring. And I've simply stuck that in the ground and then you can see the number nine gauge wire sticks out and I've got a smaller wire and I've cut a piece of uh, brush and I've dipped it in a food lure and what I'm using for lure here is uh, Paul, uh, excuse me not Paul Dobbins lure but uh, Clint Locklear's beaver buffet and that's an excellent food lure and you can see this thing is free it's free to swing it's free to move around it's not fixed the idea is um, the beaver, when he uh, comes to take the uh, food lure, he's going to be standing on his hind legs. You want this high enough so that he can't reach it without standing up on his hind legs. When he stands up on the hind legs, hopefully he steps around enough to step in your trap. And that's another reason to attach it with string or some wire that will swivel is so that um, when, uh, when he goes and, and touches it, he has to work with it. It'll uh, it'll pivot and sway, and he can't just uh, grab it and pull it and run. So anyway, I'm going to set up a game camera and see if I can get some footage on this tonight, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm working a dam here, and what I've got is a, a couple of sets. Now this is a crossover right here. You can see they're going right down across that fork stick. Uh, there's no lure, nothing like that, and I've just bedded a TS-85 right at the top of the crossover and uh, this crossover really wasn't wide enough for me to offset it but I uh, did the best I could and uh, we'll see if I get anything this is just a very simple set uh, no lure used just set it right where they're already crossing at the top of the dam and I've got it long chain I use 10 feet of number two American chain on my long chain sets and uh, about half the time when I come back uh, the beaver is out in the water drowned. A lot of times the weight of the trap and the weight of the chain is enough to drown them after they uh, fight it all night. Now if we're going down just a little bit here, I've done a, a dam break set right here. And you can see I've made a, a break. And this is a little bit different style than uh, you see a lot of people make. A lot of people will bed their traps out in the water and uh, that works, and uh, I've done that in the past and had results, good results. But a lot of times, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this there is uh, this mud is thick. If you step in there, you're going to sink up over your knees, and it's extremely difficult to bed a trap solid or to stomp out a trap bed down there. The other thing is you can hopefully you can see how many leaves there are. There's a thick bed of leaves down there. So in that case, what I do is I make my break narrow and deep so that they'll uh, have to plug it with uh, sticks. They can't just shovel mud up. And when they do that, I've learned by watching my night vision footage that a lot of times they work that set from the side uh, because they're flipping around down there and sinking just like I am. And so they get up on the side of the dam where it's a little more solid. So what I do is I bed a foothold right here along the side of the dam. And to keep the leaves from washing over it, you can see I've built a little fence out of sticks, and I've had a lot of luck with this set. Once again, there's no lure or anything like that. And uh, you can see they've flooded this farmer's yard out. Um, his pump stand here is completely in the water. And that's a look back over to uh, the area that they've got blocked here. So anyway, we'll check it in the morning. and. Uh, We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'll have some luck. Okay, we're back checking our sets this morning. I had a 
nothing uh, hit my uh, dangle set down there with the uh, dangling stick with the beaver lure on it, the food lure. Uh, nothing hit the crossover set. And I'm here at the dam break set that I made on this dam, and the break in the dam is completely repaired. You can see uh, it had fresh sticks, a lot of leaves and everything here. And I uh, couldn't find my trap. Normally they're out in the water or the trap is buried. When I first got here, I thought the trap was buried under all of that because if you remember, uh, I had set the trap just to that side up on the dam. So here is my T-bar stake uh, where I've got the uh, trap chain fastened. And lo and behold, this time the guy went down the dam and is tangled up over here. And so that beaver is alive and he's found him a little uh, cubby hole and he's uh, sitting there taking it easy I'm not moving around or, or anything so let's get over here and see if we can get a better shot of him and uh, there he is and he really is not interested in moving I think he's happy where he's at. He's got him a little, little cubby hole down there. And you can see that TS-85 made a perfect back foot catch on him. Let's see if I can move over a little farther. And yeah, that's a good high catch. I don't know if you can see it. That's a good sized beaver too. He'll eat good. So anyway, that's where he's at. And this tells me there's at least one more in here because the dam break was repaired after this one was caught and tangled up over here. The odd thing is this beaver is not even tangled up. He's just uh, chilling. So anyway, I'm going to dispatch him. I'm going to re-break the dam in the same spot, and I'll reset the trap. And uh, I think this time I'll move the game camera over here on this dam break instead of on the dangle set, because I would have had some good footage of this guy getting caught last night. So I'll move it over here and see if we have any more action when I reset this set. But anyway, let me get this dispatched, and I'll get everything set back up. All right, I've uh, remade the set here, and I think you can clearly see the break, and that is a deep, narrow break. Uh, you don't want a wide break, you want a narrow break to bring them to one specific point on the dam. And you can see my two little pools to the on each side of the break up on the dam. I've got a TS-85 in each, um, in each side there. And if you'll notice, I make like uh, a little, uh, little reinforcing structure. You can see almost like a little cage for my trap bed. And you see the trap is down there, I don't know, six or eight inches deep because it's early in the morning. This is going to drain all night. The water level is going to drop a lot. And uh, what I want is I want the leaves to pile up around that cage and build up just a solid platform. And then when the beaver steps over it, he steps into that pool of water and is caught. And I've got the same thing over there. And let's see if I can zoom in. I'll give you a better shot. You should be able to see the trap pan there in the little depression in the water. That was not quite as deep over there. But uh, there's the break. And then there is the second set right there. And I've set up a game cam. And uh, hopefully we'll have another visitor tonight. And hopefully I'll get something on film. Unfortunately, where I had the game camera set up, nothing, uh, nothing hit that set. That's usually the way it goes. But at least I caught one. I had uh, three sets out and uh, caught one beaver. Then tomorrow, I'll, uh, I'll be heading down to uh, the swamp and I'll be doing a lot more snaring down there. Uh, so I'll be gone a while, but hopefully I'll, uh, I'll have some good luck down in the swamp. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll check it in the morning and see what we got.